At the outset, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Vatikuti and Dr. Bhandari for inviting me over to be a part of this August gathering. Dr. Elawat has already covered the number status and the future plans. I'll just confine myself to the rest in gynec. We started doing gynec robotic surgery somewhere in the mid-2010. And uh, regarding the data maintenance, uh, we are virtually a paperless hospital, so everything is there on the HIS, right from the demographics, patient details, operative notes, radiology, and pathology. Areas of interest, of course, it's the entire spectrum of challenging benign and oncology surgeries. Uh, here are the few publications. Uh, we have our publication in the Journal of Robotic Surgery. That's uh, Robotic Hysterectomy and Fistula Repair for Utrovesical Fistula. Then uh, contributed a chapter uh, in the textbook of uh, obstetrics and gynecology for undergrads and postgrad students. Also contributed a, mini a chapter on minimally invasive surgery, which has a mentioning of robotic surgery as well in the textbook uh, Gynecological Oncology Simplified. Then a few publications in the newsletters, uh, Foxy newsletters. These are the presentations which we made in India and abroad. Uh, first presentation was made, paper presentation was made in July 2010, and then uh, that was uh, in the endoscopy conference. Then in the annual conference of Gynec Oncology of India, presented a paper on robotic cystic surgical staging for CA endometrium, and that was adjudged as the second best paper. In our experience, uh, these are the surgeries which we've been doing. Surgical staging for uh, C endometrium, hysterectomies. We've done the biggest uh, uterus size, which was equal to 32 week size. Myomectomies, multiple myomas taken out, uh, maximum number was 13. Did radical hysterectomies for uh, C cervix, sacrocolpopexy, hysteropexy, birch colpo suspension, deep invasive endometriosis, ovarian transposition, ovarian cystectomies, pelvic reconstructive surgery. Vesicovaginal fistula, utrovesical fistula, cervicovesical fistula repairs. Uh, the difference which I saw, you know, over a period of time was that uh, when we were asked to deliver the lectures and invited, though people were fascinated, but the acceptance was maybe one on ten amongst the gynecologists. This has grown over a period of time, and now it's, I'll say, I'll rate it something like six to seven on ten. Thank you very much.